<laughs> Hi. Um, I am not driving the usual vehicle that I drive. And <clears throat> as I shared on my Instagram, whether or not you follow that, there has been a switch in my direction, in my path, in what I am doing with this. Um, I shared a conversation with someone in their car as I was their passenger. Um, and we have shared now a fair amount of rides together as I play their passenger. As I am fortunate to play their passenger. <laughs> um, and, you know, we met at an intersection on a train. And in that intersection, it was momentous. It was profound. It was an immediate intersection of connection. Now, in this recent car ride and return back to my family's home, they provided me with clarity. They provided me with a better sense of what this needs to be about and what I should be doing. I have shared that I'm adopted, but I haven't shared the magnitude that that has in my life. I was born on August 2nd, 1986 to a woman whose name Amelia, and I was born as Roylan Abendin Kasilak. That was the name that was given to me at birth. I was then placed in an orphanage for the first 10 months of my life. And then I was flown over with a nurse from that orphanage to LaGuardia Airport, or JFK, <laughs> and I met the family that raised me. I met my parents. I met my brother. I met... I was met by my... by my grandmother. Um... And I was raised in Connecticut. And I was loved. And I was nurtured. And I felt nothing but those two things. And nurture versus nature is an interesting concept. And I am an example of that. Because I am naturally the person that I am but I was nurtured to also be the person who I am today. Adopted, Filipino-American, homosexual, man. It, with this clarity that I was given, that I was gifted, you know, uh, we, we meet people and we connect with people and we pick up passengers and I was a passenger in this individual's car and as a passenger, he provided, <laughs> he provided me with clarity, with this is the story that I have to tell, not the drives, not the moves, not the metaphors that I use to relate to life, but my life. My story. 
as I pull into the home where I was brought to. Where I was brought to when I was 10 months old. There are roots. There are, there is love. But there is so much about me that stems from those 10 months from me being an adoptee from me feeling abandoned left, lost. This is my story. This is, this will be the message that I lead with as I move along with clarity, with strength, with love good night okay bye